they've outdone themselves. I think it's like their best collection. It's incredible. So powerful. It's always a strange feeling to step back into the real world after a Redate show. After this latest presentation, I feel like I've crawled out of a volcano. Today we create a look which was based a bit on American Indian. We kind of mix different references to come up with the design for the tattoos. For the beauty, we're thinking of like East LA gang girls and exploring a whole darker, tougher side of, of a girl of beauty. This whole collection was about destruction. Everything that came in, we were well, getting bad. Thing, we would get these amazing textiles. We were so particular about it. And then we'd be like, oh, it's not pretty. We've got to ruin it. And then all of a sudden, it became the most gorgeous thing yeah. to us. It was, it was a little very, frustrating sometimes. Yeah. But like, oh my God, there's not enough stain on this one. Did you see there were some of their knits were red, like blood trailing from their hips? Oh, yeah. Amazing. Just oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. I think that their clothes are really sort of psychedelic in a way. <laughs> it has so much fantasy life to it. It felt more playful than formal. I feel like they really live in the moment. I love the addition of the plaids and the madras and those sort of more homespun fabrics that were a little bit burned, a little torn. I thought that idea of adding those to the collage was quite beautiful. They're sort of outside of the establishment and yet they're at the pinnacle of it. So the new establishment. The new establishment. From Star Wars sci-fi to, you know, Snuffleupagus and Cookie Monster. It's sort of all, it's all there the most beautiful show so far in New York. The clothes were really beautiful. I like that they've manifested their own destiny and they've made their stuff with their own hands. I always think if you work with your hands, there is no shortcut. You've got to work with your hands.